What is up, YouTube? This is your girl Amina back with Simple Beauty, and today is wash day, y'all. I love a good wash day. So, with that being said, we're gonna jump right into this routine. So, these days, I have two routines I wash my hair with shampoo and I co wash my hair. I am getting more into co washing these days because it allows my hair to retain moisture a lot better. So, with that being said, we are going to these co weathers as well. So, we want to make sure that we're applying and keeping moisture in our strands as much as possible. But today, I am shampoo shampooing my hair y'all that is right so I shampoo my hair at least once a month the other weeks I am co-washing so without further ado as you can see that my hair is already subsection off I love when my hair is subsection off it just makes everything so more much more manageable for me so with that being said I go in with my fingers I want to make sure that I'm detangling my hair as much as possible um, before I apply water to it and then I want to go in with my good old warm water y'all good old warm water I love wash day because it's a warm water what woman doesn't like hot water you know I do but with that being said, I go ahead and put that warm water in my hair um, and use my hands in a raking method. Once again, making sure that my hair is not trying to tangle on me like it always does, like it always does, but it's okay. Um, make sure it doesn't tangle on me and make sure I'm getting it nice and detangled before I apply that shampoo, y'all. Okay, so once you have your hair fully detangled, I like to go in and apply my shampoo at this point. I am using black African soap mixed with aloe vera juice as well as peppermint and tea tree oils. So I apply that straight to my scalp as you can see and I am taking my nails and going in and washing and exfoliating my scalp. Yes, contrary to what most people may believe, your nails does your scalp some good. I'm telling you this, this is my preference, but hey, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for years and I'm just not gonna stop doing it. But with that being said, I am making sure that I am just working my nails into the scalp, getting up any buildup, any dirt that may have um, collected over time within my hair itself. Not only that, I make sure I take that good old soap, y'all, and work it down my strands. Why not? I'm not gonna allow it just to run down my strands and say it's gonna do its part. No, I'm going to help it do its part. So I take my time and wash my hair and just run that soap down my strands. Now, once I have that soap worked into my hair pretty good, um, I like to go in with my white tooth comb. And like I said before, I like to make sure that my hair stays detangled. So I just take my white tooth comb and just rake through it a few times. So once I have washed the shampoo out of my hair, I like to go ahead and just section off that hair um, back into a twist, making sure it is not tangling on me or mixing in with the rest of my hair. So as I work from the top, I am just twisting it all the way down to the tips and just getting it out of the way. As you can see, I have completed my twist and I'm going to continue this process throughout the rest of my head, y'all. I am starting from the back and working my way forward.
Now that I have my hair fully washed, I am going in and sectioning my hair off. This is the process where I apply my conditioner in as well as my oil. So the conditioner that I will be using today is Olive Oil's Replenish Conditioner. Um, Y'all, I love this conditioner. This comes, this is a throwback from my good old relax days. Um, this conditioner has been with me for years and just a little secret, I'm not getting rid of it. Um, it feels so good to my hair. It does my hair some good um, and replenishing its curls and its texture um, and it smells so good. So with that being said, it's just not going nowhere. It's going to stay a part of my routine. I am just working this into my strands, um, working from the base all the way down to the tips of my strands. Now, after I have worked that conditioner into my hair, I like to go in and at least apply um, an oil of my liking to my hair. So the oil that I usually use is my castor oil. It is mixed with fenugreek and as well as um, a few of my essential oils that I like to mix into it. I apply that to my scalp as well as to my strands. Once I have that worked into my strands, I go ahead and begin to twist that hair off once again, making sure it is out of the way. Once I have that completed, I am moving on to the rest of my head and continue that process throughout the rest of my hair. Okay, so I have my hair fully twisted out now. At this point, I am just going to take my hair and pin it up as much as possible. Um, what I'm going to do next is put my head underneath a steamer, my lovely steamer, I love my steamer, y'all. Um, so I am just taking my hair and pinning it up with a clip, or you can use bobby pins, whatever you prefer. Sometimes I use both, but make sure that you can get it centered at the top of your head as much as possible. Now, once my hair is fully pinned up on top of my head, I make sure I place myself under my steamer. My steamer brings so much moisture back to my strands. Yes, moisture, that is what you want, that is what you need. Now, just a quick nugget though, this thing is no joke. So if you have little ones such as myself, I make sure that I am in my room by myself when I go through this process. Um, we do not want our little ones getting hurt. So let's make sure that you're by yourself because baby, 
there is brewing brewing water behind me. So with that being said, make sure you're by yourself. Um, this thing does drip a little bit of water from time to time. So make sure you have a towel around your neck as well as I will be providing a video on this steamer itself, the pros and the cons, but I love this thing y'all. I can't get enough of it. Um, and it's just helping me with my whole moisture retention journey that I'm going on right now. So. So stay under it for about 45 minutes and you are going to definitely reap the benefits. I'm telling you, you are going to reap those benefits. So now that I have my hair um, fully steamed, as you can see, uh, my hair is nicely moisturized, y'all. I wish you can feel it. It feels so good. Um, I can see that my hair has retained a lot of moisture just from that steaming process. And that is one thing I am very happy about my whole, um, my new root, my new wash routines is that I have adopted the steaming method into my routine, which has benefited my hair in so many ways. But as you can see, I am going ahead um, and clipping my hair away so that way I can go ahead and wash my hair out thoroughly and get these twists out and rid of the um, replenish packet from olive oil. Once I have that thoroughly rinsed out of my head, I like to go in and just take my time and apply my leave-in conditioner. So the leave-in conditioner that I'm using today is my Cream of Nature leave-in conditioner. And I must say, y'all, that smells good too. So your girl have a thing for smell good products, but who doesn't? So I definitely like to take that um, leave-in conditioner and work it into my hair as much as possible. I start from the base of my head and just work it down to the tips of my strands. Once I have that conditioner worked into my hair, I like to go in with my dimming brush and just pass it through a few times just to get out, like I said, any tangles that I may have. Um, I'm a bit, I have to admit, I'm a bit excessive when it comes to detangling my hair. But um, as you can see, my hair is so rejuvenated, y'all. Um, my curls are popping out, um, definitely. So I am happy with this as always. So I am just continuing that process throughout the rest of my head, starting from the front and just working my way back, applying my leave-in conditioner, detangling it, and twisting it right back up. So I am at the end. I definitely started out with more twists than this. As you can see, I have gathered some of my subsections and put them together. So I have about a good, I wanna say six twists in my hair, but I wanted to show you the end results of my hair. My hair is nice and moisturized. I wish you can touch it. I wish you can feel it. And I am happy with the results every single time. So because I am feeling really razzle dazzle right about now, I want you to see my hair with it being out. Look how moisturized it is. I am really feeling myself. I can't get enough of my curls, but this is it y'all. This is my shampoo routine and hey, try it out if you can. Um, until next time, check your girl out. I'll see you later. Bye.